Hello, thank you for tuning in to Passing a Public Library's video tutorial for the simple landscape painting using watercolor pencils. This is an activity for beginners. We will be primarily experimenting with blending colors and application methods. First, for supplies, you'll need watercolor paper, some water, painter's tape, a paintbrush, and some watercolor pencils. You can use any colors you would like, but in this video, we will be using yellow green, yellow, violet, black, and sky blue. First, I am going to tape the edges of the, the paper to the table. If you don't have painter's tape, you can paint without it or use a larger piece of paper or tablecloth behind the watercolor paper. Or you can use other tape, like masking tape or transparent tape, but be extra careful when removing it later. I am taping off just about a quarter of an inch on each side. This will help act as a border around the painting and it'll help keep the paint on the paper. Next, I am just choosing which colors I'd like to lay down for the background. I'm going to start with yellow and just start about two thirds of the way down from the page. Draw a line across the middle there and then start shading in the background. So again, this is an exercise in blending colors. So I'm just shading in yellow the background there. And again, you can use whichever colors you have. So if you have orange or red, you can use that in its place. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of light green or yellow green, mixing in with the yellow and blending it. I'm using the side of the pencil so it can lay down the colors much quicker and much more evenly. So, so this method that we're going to be using to activate the colors is that we are putting the color down first on the paper. We're putting the dry colors down and then we're going to run a brush across the top of it, which we'll do later. But you can also add water on your paper first and then put the colors on top. The colors are much brighter when you do it that way, but the blending may look a little different. I'm just using various colors for the top there. I'm using the violet to color in the top and I added a little bit of sky blue to the sky there, blending in with both the violet and the green. And I'm just running it across and mixing up the colors. If you're unsure of how it'll look like, you can always activate the colors and then add more pencil on top of that. And just shading in a little bit more yellow. And then now I'm gonna get my water and add some water on the paintbrush and then run the paintbrush across the colors, blending in the pencil. Th 
this background is a little light, so you may want to add more pencil on there to make the background a bit brighter, which you can do after activating the colors as well. You'll want to be careful about using too much water because it can start peeling the paper off. But you do need the water to blend in the colors. And if you have too much water, you can just use a paper towel to dab off. Once you're done with your background, you're going to get your black pencil and on the wet background, you're just going to go ahead and draw a silhouette. It can be anything. Um, I'm just going to draw a tree because I'm not great at drawing. So a tree is easy enough for me. So you can wet your pencil tip by dipping your pencil directly in the water and shaking it off and then continue drawing. What you could also do is run your brush across the paper again and then draw on top of that. Again, the colors do look a little bit different depending on how you do this. Whether you're putting the dry color on dry paper and then writing your brush on top of it, or dipping your pencil and then drawing, or placing your pencil directly on a wet surface. You can try all of those methods. For this one, I'm just going to continue dipping my pencil and draw the tree. So this tree does take me a while, so I'm just going to speed up the video here. And you'll notice that I'm using a few different methods to fill in that black. I'm pulling the color off of the pencil by placing the tip of a wet brush directly on the pencil and then using the brush on the tree. But I'm also adding water in the tree trunk and using my pencil on top of that to make it darker. Next, I'm going to use the violet to shade in the floor. I'm gonna start where the yellow stops and just apply some of the violet on the bottom there. I'm going to shade in a little bit off the top, but also take it at a bit of an angle. So you, you'll notice that at the bottom I'm putting color at an angle there. Coloring at an angle will make it look like there's a bit of a shadow there. So I am also using the black to blend in with the purple on the floor there, just to give it a bit of a darker flooring. I'm 
using the violet a little bit more to shade in the edge there, again at an angle. And then a little bit of black at the edge again there. A bit of reverse from the other side. Next, we're going to activate the colors again with water. Just dipping the paintbrush in there and drying it off a bit and then running the brush across the paper. We're going to pull the blended colors across the rest of the white on that paper. There are a lot of ways of using watercolor pencils and blending colors and creating landscapes. And I am a beginner as well. So hopefully this exercise will give you some ideas on how to create some of your own landscapes. Just adding a bit more water to try to blend in that pencil on the edges there. Trying to get the pencil out. And I'm just using my fingers to blend in those colors just a little bit more. to have more of a paint look rather than a color pencil look. You should also be careful with not rubbing too much of the paper off on top as well. There are little spots on this paper because some of the top portions of the paper came off with my fingers as I was rubbing the paper. So I'm just blending it in just a little bit more with the paintbrush. And then I'm going to get the violets and just apply more color on that wet surface. What I'm doing is running the wet paintbrush on the tip of that pencil to pull the color off. And then using the brush directly on the paper just like you would regular watercolor paints. I'm just applying a little bit more shading underneath that tree there to make it look more like a shadow. Next, I'm gonna get my paintbrush and with some water and just add some water in that middle area there and get my sky blue pencil and start drawing what will become my flowers on that wet surface. You can draw the flowers as wide of an area as you like. I'm just going to add a few here to the bottom area where the tree is and then a little bit more scattered across the ground. I'm just adding a little bit more water there and then coloring in the flowers. I'm trying to make it look like it's overlapping without actually overlapping it. And next, I am going to use the violet pencil to add the stems on there. So what I'm doing is I'm just dipping the tip of the pencil into the water and shaking it off a bit and then adding the stems of the flowers. 
And you can do this backwards too if you want it to, by adding the stems first and then coloring in the petals. So this does take a while, so I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video. I'm also using yellow-green for the stems. You can use, again, whichever colors you'd like. And then next I'm going to get my black pencil, dip the tip in the water, and then I am going to draw a swing. So I'm going to start with the bottom of the swing. dipping my pencil in water again and just coloring in the swing and then draw in the swings chains Dipping my pencil in the water again so I can get that color onto the page. Now you can finish your painting here if you'd like, or you can play around with the landscape a little bit more. I'm going, going to get the violet pencil and just add in a few more flowers down at the bottom there. I'm also going to use the green, dip the tip of the pencil in water, and add more green stems. Again, it really doesn't matter which colors you use as long as it works for you more blue flowers. Again, I'm just going to speed up this video clip because I am just adding more flowers there. And then I'm just going to use my black pencil to darken that tree just a little bit more, dipping the tip of my pencil in water and just applying the wet pencil tip onto the paper. Again, you can really draw whatever you'd like here. Silhouettes are really easy because you just really need a general shape. So you can draw people sitting underneath that tree. The tree could have leaves on there. Or you could draw a house or several houses in the back there. Once you think you're done with your painting, you can start peeling off the tape at the edges there. Make sure you're peeling the, paint, the tape away from the center of your painting so as not to rip the edges. Pulling carefully away from the center of your painting and I do rip the edge of that just a little bit because it's stuck on my box, but there you go. And you can fix that top if you'd like. And there's your finished painting. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out more activities on our YouTube page at Pasadena Library. Thank you.